All right, for those of you that don't know, every year there's this thing that they do called the Wisconsin Sports Awards that, by the way, is pretty cool. And so if you don't know about it, or even if you do, you're going to learn all about it right now as we bring in Jesse Nelson. He is from ESPN Madison and Good Karma uh, Brands, I guess, as it's called now. And so, Jesse, welcome on in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, thanks for being here. And let's, let's tell people out there, hey, what are the Wisconsin Sports Awards? What is it all about? The Wisconsin Sports Awards is the biggest night in Wisconsin sports, and it just took place last week, June 6th. And so we had stars from the best of professional, college, and high school sports all coming together. It's a celebration of everything Wisconsin sports. It's an awesome event every year, and this year didn't disappoint either. Okay, so you're talking about stars that are there. I want you to do some name dropping now, okay? We love name dropping on the show, okay? <laughs> it would who, be my pleasure. Yeah, who, who are some of the, uh, the the big stars that were there? Well, after a big win earlier in the day, Christian Yelich, Mike Moustakis, wow. Jeremy Jeffers, Craig Council, all of the Milwaukee Brewers were able to swing by. Uh, Mike Budenholzer was there, head coach of the Milwaukee yeah. Bucks. It was nice to see him. And then there were a lot of Badger guests there, too. So we had Jonathan Taylor, Ron Dane in the house, and, of course, one of the top basketball prospects in the country, Jalen Johnson, was yeah. there, too. So it was really the best of everything all coming together. Boy, a lot of those people that have either been on our program or I got to call games with them, and Jalen Johnson when he was at Sun Prairie, I mean, you know, what a, what a talent. So mm -hmm. um, it, one of the cool things, I think, about award show when people like to watch them is there's that, that magic moment, whether, you know, it happens on stage or it might even be something that happens, you know, Backstage, what do you think was the coolest moment of the night? It was really cool to see the Milwaukee Brewers recognized for their work with the uh, California wildfires that had gone mm -hmm. out out west. And so there was a really cool moment where, uh, as I mentioned, Craig Council and Ryan Braun, Christian Yelich, Mike Moustakis, all those guys that are from that region and all the charity work that they did raising funds to help the relief efforts out there, they were recognized for the Community Involvement Award on stage. And it was really cool to see them recognized with that that impact that they made out in California. I think out of uh, maybe any team in baseball, it seems like the Brewers are one of the more connected teams. Um, do, you, do you get that vibe from them? Do they? Oh, totally. Just see, yeah. yeah. That's what we hear all the time is that it's just a fun clubhouse. And though, that's not just from the folks that cover the team every day. I mean, we're hearing it from national people too. Tim Kirchin said on ESPN before that, you know, the Brewers just seem like they have more fun than anyone else. And it continues this year too. So it's really cool to see that bond develop with those guys, not just when you see them in the dugout or not just when you see them on the field, but even at events like the Wisconsin Sports Awards yeah. too. Yeah, and that's a hard thing to try and get. It really is. So, okay, so what was maybe the moment that had people laughing? You know, people <laughs> people like that about award shows, okay? Anyone roasted? What what you know, what what happened there? They got well, you know, out. it's been a tough couple of weeks for Mike Budenholzer after yeah. the Bucks got knocked out of the Eastern Conference Finals and watching what the Raptors have done against Golden State. He was recognized as the coach of the year, which is presented by Gruber Law Offices, one call that's all. A great partner of us over <laughs> at ESPN plug, Madison. Man, great. And yeah. so as, as Mike Budenholzer's on stage accepting his award, he goes, you know, it's it's fitting that Gruber Law Offices uh, presents this award because in the Eastern Conference Finals, all I was looking for was one call, that's all. <laughs> that got everybody just <laughs> roaring at the end of the night. It was hilarious that he was able to crack that record. Nice. <laughs> I, think, I think all of us are still in a bit of a shock over the Milwaukee Bucks. 2-0 lead in the Eastern Conference Finals, watch it go away. So, as Mike Budenholzer, has he rebounded a bit? Does he seem okay? I think, yeah, you start to look ahead to next year and what the team's going to be able to do. There were a lot of great things that mm. came out from this Milwaukee Bucks season. I mean, to finish with the best record in the NBA, to get to the Eastern Conference Finals, and even just to have that two nothing lead, even though it ended and it was, it's still sour for all of us Bucks fans mm -hmm. that are following the team. But to know that you know they made those steps, and I was just down in Milwaukee here recently over the weekend, and to see the Deer District and everything, the Fiserv Forum, like that's yeah. really built up so well. And so I think there's a lot of positive momentum, you know, going for the Bucks, and they can try to build off of that as they head into the next couple of years here. And this can be something consistent that we're talking about the Bucks into June. Absolutely. So we'll shift gears a little bit. We mentioned Jalen Johnson earlier. We like talking about high school sports here on the program. Mm -hmm. um, what prep sport athletes or coaches might have been recognized? Oh, there the were a few from the area, Rich, that were recognized. So we saw McKenna Warnock of Monona mm -hmm. Grove. She was the female. Uh, girls high school athlete of the year wow. and so she was recognized for that and that was some good competition Shamira Williams from down in the Milwaukee area was also a nominee in that category but McKenna Warnock going to play her high or her college basketball I should say next year at Iowa uh, the 
efforts that she put in at Monona Grove throughout the course of this year got her the Girls High School Athlete of the Year Award. And I mentioned Jalen Johnson, the Boys High School Basket or High School uh, Athlete of the Year. Uh, what he was able to do down at Nicolet and take that team all the way mm -hmm. to a state title, and they had him on on the uh, blue carpet pre-show. And uh, Homer asked him, "Well, you know, tell people how close this this title run was. Like, were you ever in any real tough games?" He said, no, not really. Like, <laughs> we had maybe one or two games that were kind of close, but the rest of it, we pretty much steamrolled our way to the title, and that included in the championship game at the Cole Center. Yeah, it'll be um, fun to watch him in his collegiate career, which probably be very short, I'm guessing. Yes, but, yes, yeah. for sure. <laughs> it'll be fun for watching at least one year. Okay. It was so, pretty cool to see Jonathan Taylor and some of the other Badgers kind of talking with Jalen Johnson throughout the night, too. So you never know if there yep. were you know, a couple of conversations that it may have taken place. Exactly, hopefully. Uh, so, okay, uh, we got about 30 seconds, maybe a little less, than that what are we looking forward to in the ninth year that's next year for you guys oh we can't wait for next year and we're already thinking about what it could be Graham Mertz coming in maybe the quarterback of the Badgers Ooh, yeah. Jonathan Taylor looking for another year I think the Badgers especially football they're gonna bounce back and we could be looking at a lot of Badger footballs uh, recognition at the awards next let's year. hope so Jesse thank you so much for being here if you ever need a presenter for one of the awards <laughs> I'm your guy man hey thank <laughs> we'll see what we can work out thank, thank you Jesse.